Are you guys familiar with Tommy Robinson? You're familiar with Tommy Robinson, right? When I brought out that name, he was like very negative about Tommy Robinson. How do you guys feel about Tommy Robinson? Where do you, you know? He's, uh, totally, totally insular. <laughs> He's what? Totally insular. Totally insurer? Insula. Just looking after. Uh, uh, are you familiar himself? with just happened to him with the, within the past few days? Have you been keeping up with the news at all? No, because I, I actually, I, I live in home and they, these guys are over for visiting from Scotland. Right. I'm from a Scotland. Well, I'm not surprised because yeah. there's been a yeah, media... I've seen him on the news the other day. I can't remember what it was about. Yeah, there's been a media blackout on this, but it's backfiring on the UK. Yeah. You know, his big sh thing is reporting on the Muslim invasion. Yeah. That's what he gets in trouble for reporting on. Right? Well, he was out in front of the courthouse reporting on some, a Muslim trial of a child sex grooming ring. He was out there just reporting on it, saying this is what's happening on inside. The police grabbed him. And within an hour's time, he was thrown in an, an unnamed prison for 13 months. So in an hour's time, from the street, you're in prison 13 months, and there, were, there was a blackout. If you tweeted about it, the police would knock on your door. News cast here were taken down here about this story. Yeah, but he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't do it. And uh, he pretends to be non-violent, but he uses other people around him to do all that stuff. And he's just. He's just the front man. I don't care what he was. He was on the street. You can see the video of him there just reading, reporting on the trial on the inside, yeah, if he, if he, not instigating anything, being a reporter, talking like you and I would be reporting right now is something that was going on right over there. We'd just be going, this is what's happening over there as a reporter. The police came, they took him away. And that's it. Nobody's seen him. You can't get a hold of him. He can't talk to him. Nobody's allowed to talk about him or you'll be thrown in jail. I don't care what you think about Tommy Robinson. When something like that starts to happen, what's supposed to be an otherwise, no. you know, but free country, yeah, then you got some problems. And I don't care. That's not a full story, though. He's got a lot of baggage with no being, you know, people are allowed, in the UK people are allowed free speech, people are allowed to protest, but the way he does it is wrong. Again, did you see the video? Oh, I've seen videos. No, did you it. see this one? I think I did see the one about... Well, then if the, you the, saw the it, one. what you're telling to me doesn't hold any water at all. It's yeah, bullshit. Yeah, he was standing did. there talking, they came along, and I don't care, even why I don't give a shit if he was sitting there giving the Nazi salute. He's got the right to do that, to go, but to drag him off the damn streets, and then have people say, you can't even talk about him? If you condone that, sir, I don't even know where the hell to go with your authoritarian <laughs> bullshit. Uh, Seriously, that is the worst of the worst. The Nazis even gave people the ability to have a far trial. This guy what, didn't even have an attorney. Uh, you you can't talk incident. about him, and you're condoning if that. You're why? If you're only looking at one incident, then he was right what he did. But you have to look at all the other incidents. I have looked at all the other instances, and I don't see anything the way you're talking about. Uh, I, you're talking from some kind of a lens I haven't looked through. Okay. Okay. Because I think he is a sincere person to do what he's doing. I see him in jail right now, and I see you on the street spewing bullshit. <laughs> right. You know, you know, see the whole picture. All right, right. Uh, yeah, you're the smart one, but you can't explain it to me. I don't have to be nice to authoritarian assholes. That's not my nature. What is it with Scotland and, and, and hating Tommy Robinson? Jeez, my knees. Don't these people have any idea? I'm glad we're curious about yeah. the conversation. 
Yeah, I, yesterday I talked to a guy from Scotland who didn't have a very good opinion of Tommy Robinson. Are you familiar with Tommy Robinson? Nah. All right, he's an outspoken uh, uh, activist in England uh, that is talking about how the you know the invasion of the immigrants coming up are destroying his culture, his country, changing it irreparably forever. And he, he, you know, he's a reporter. He talks on the street. He goes into the neighborhood. So because he shows the raw truth, the government cracks down on him. So several times they've thrown him in prison. Well, Just for press? Yeah. Oh the other God. day he was out in front of a courthouse talking about a, a case that was going on inside about a Muslim a pedophile ring that was grooming children to go into this ring. So he was out there on the street simply reporting about this trial that's going on that the media was keeping quiet. Well, the police came along and just took him off the streets and within an hour's time, he was sentenced to 13 months in prison. So, no trial, whatever. The trial, where, who, did he have a lawyer? No representation, and the blackout. There. Nobody's even allowed to tweet about this in England, or they will come and arrest you. That's wild. That's crazy. That's awful. Well, that's what I blew up at this guy. He's giving me excuses why Tommy Robinson deserves that. Oh no. Nobody deserves that. You have the right free speech. It's free speech if you're out there as a journalist talking like we are right now. Yeah. You know. So, Someone doesn't like what I'm saying. Do they have the right just to come along and drag me off the street and then I'm never heard of again? I mean, what the hell kind of like, you know, what is England? Is it, you know, Islamistan now? It's shocking that in a country that professes to be a democracy where voices are heard, that this kind of star chamber. I mean, even the Nazis gave a, you know, give a far trial, they give a fake trial. They'd still throw, kill you, throw you in jail. But at least they, you know, you'd see it in the newspaper. Ah, this guy was guilty of saying bad things about the Fuhrer. So this is a very shocking thing. So I, I bone up on Tony Robinson. He's really a hero for, you know, free for us. Where are you guys from? Russellville, Arkansas, sir. Yeah. Are you really? Yeah, we're here for a quiz bowl tournament. Oh, I just talked to a whole team of you guys that were in red shirts. I yeah, think they're three-time champions. That's you, the yeah. three-times champions? Yeah, yeah that's us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, terrific. Yeah, man, go see yourselves on YouTube. I, I, it, it was really great. I, I like you guys. Uh, you're very, I mean, I was asking things like, you know, who makes up the questions? And one of the, one of the girls goes, Probably some globalists. <laughs> I thought that was a oh, perfect man. answer. Oh, man. That was, it's been fun talking to you. Oh, sir. yeah. Now, here's a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Now, on the back, you got my YouTube channel. You'll go see that encounter. We're going to see you guys on it. Badass Uncle Sam. Yeah. I like it, sir. 76. Yeah. Oh, man. And subscribe. And then you're, you're getting you're, a subscriber today, sir. Oh, terrific. Yeah, great. All right. Great it's great meeting you guys. Awesome. Good luck. All right. Get this anywhere else. There's a battle in New Orleans, part two. <laughs> Fat four. Fat